My boys, the family, man. What's good, man? Hey, bro, it's just your boy, it's Quizzy, bro. I'm back today with another video, man. Hey, look, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm feeling good, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling real good, man. I got my air conditioner going on over there. <laughs> we handling business, you know what I'm saying? All right, look, bro. Today we're getting ready to get into another uh, side night of happiness, man. I like these compilations. This is the compilation number three. We finally got the green light to go ahead and do it. Man. Hey, that's cool. As long as they cool with it, then I'm cool with it, man. Hit the like button. Go down below. Subscribe to your boy, man. If you're new, understand, man. I appreciate everybody that goes the extra mile for me, man. Look, bro. I'm telling you, we really coming up, man. We gonna keep on coming up, man. Y'all, we need y'all to join the family, man. We need a big family so we can get a little barbecue and dog shit and shit. We got to get a Glizzies over there. I don't even know when they start calling hot dogs glizzies, bro. I hate pelicans. What the? Oh, he gave him some bread. Got some bread, my boy. He making him a sandwich? What? <laughs> I, I was about to say, I don't know if you want to trust some yellow shit on your sandwich. I mean, I don't even know if you want to trust a motherfucker that uses his feet as hands, bro. Think about the places he's been, boy. Where is he getting his bread? I want a sandwich right now, hella bad. You better not eat that sandwich with your bald ass. No, 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 no! Come on! Come on! You can't die on me! That's that World War II shit right here, boy. Don't you die on me now! I guess we won't get to go <laughs> on that fishing trip, after all. Don't you say that! We're gonna get you out of here! I'm not going to make it! <laughs> I'm Langshot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm long shot. No, Sarge. You're going to pull through. You're going to make it. And you're going to walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here. And you're going to tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. I'm feeling a twist coming. It's she shot him. She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. <laughs> Are you sure? All right. I'll go tell her. I, I will leave, my boy. There is nothing to say, my boy. Look, look, look. If she shot his ass, she will definitely shoot your ass. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is lung shot. He's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times. Oh, motherfuckers be like, God. Oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge, Sarge, wake up. Sarge, stay with me. So your <laughs> wife said that when you're done, um... <laughs> Dying. The last of your life is having to hear this bullshit, bro. The last seconds of your life. Could you imagine that? Having to hear this bullshit. Like, come on, my boy. This man, let that man pass away. Matter of fact, get him to a hospital, bro. How has it even not been on the table, bro? Then you should clean the garage. Will you tell her? <laughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Um. I ain't mad at this. Yes, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. He said well, that- Well, you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. Oh, damn. All right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that- <laughs> He was mad. He was like that. <laughs> She's a bitch. Okay. He says, cough, cough, gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody oh, ass shit. up. Oh, shit. Why, why would you do that? This is all your fault. Hey, you absolutely. just clean the garage like what you would. Me? You should clean the garage. Me? Are you oh, kidding you me? Right no, I do not I believe you're bringing that up right now. Is this is oh, just well, insane. Well, it's your blood everywhere. Like, I have nothing to say about that. Nothing to fucking say. Ah, uh, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. Hope it's still good. 
Aw, oh, man, Ugh. I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess I don't have any clean mugs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. You just didn't want to be there, my boy. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. Oh! That's fucked up, bro. That's hilarious, though. The beard. The beard. Boy, that is not no fucking beard, boy. That is a black-brown cloud. You shit it on a cloud and put it on your face. That is shit cotton on your face. Hot one today, huh? <laughs> Whew. The sting operation, boy. He's undercover, boy. That's an intense beard you've got going on there. Hey, this might sound a little weird, but oh my God. can I touch it? No! I feel oddly compelled Leave. to touch your beard. I'm gonna go suck you in, boy. Wow. That's so weird. Wait, what the? Uh, oh, what is this? What is, what, what's happening? What? Whoa, nice beard. Hey. Oh shit, it's like a pathogen, it's like a virus, boy. Don't touch it, my bald head, Kai, you looking motherfucking boy. This might sound weird, but... You pop out my closet, you getting shot. Or in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Heck yes, I am. Then come, follow me. There isn't much time. My boy taking kids, hell no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? What? When life fuck? drops a bomb, buy an F bomb. Link in the description. Strong voice ass. That probably somebody girlfriend, so I ain't gonna go too far hard on her. What is that? Joel sucks, rules, stinks, pooped. For a good time call 1555 Melvin. <laughs> then they got a butt plus face. <laughs> these these walls is crazy, boy. <laughs> Who just does that while they Take a shit. <laughs> Who does that? Damn. Should have noticed that beforehand, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Somebody else. Before he do, before he fought him, he's really considerate, bro. You was gonna get these dirty hands fucking with me, and then he didn't even wipe. Damn. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what?
about, man? Y'all been actually telling me about oh, Ted. Hi. You didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. Boy, you got little shit stalks on your fucking head, boy. Who the fuck is, if you want to survive like me, Ted Bear. No, get your look. You look like that raper man in the, in, with that band in a couple of uh, uh, slides ago, boy. Stupid ass, boy. This man got... That shit look like shit rain. Like rain if it was shit if it was rain and it was falling down. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up. Okay. Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your one snug commute to a spiraling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cold, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you got to do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. Jones survival and fittest looking motherfucker doing boy this man is climbing a rock after a while all the walking will leave you bleed naked you need to find a source of food okay because food means carbohydrates carbohydrates mean energy right energy means movement movement means survival luckily there are bounties of food in the wilderness you just gotta know where to look <gasps> bacon you must be underneath a bacon tree! <laughs> now, some of Why did he climb around like that? A bacon tree? That's, this sounds disgusting, bro. These aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. <laughs> You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, <laughs> always, always check the expiration date on the back. This is how we survive in, in the concrete jungle, boy. This, this is what he talking about. It's imperative to your survival. Ugh, what the fuck is those muffins? Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. Oh, look at the legs! Oh! Raisins. Okay. Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Right. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that fish, that fish was like, bro, you grab something, that ain't the appendage of mine, boy. Look at this nigga's face. Hold on, I gotta go back and see this. Can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit... Look, look, look. The fish is like, all right, cool. I'm in the shot. I'm in the video, bro. We're going to be on YouTube. We're going to be a star. Watch the horror on this fish's face when he grabs the straw of the fish. Fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> <laughs> now you're probably thinking, oh, Dad, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. Uh. <laughs> Is that, is that a sausage porcupine? This nigga fat as fuck now. Yeah. The, the trick to uh, surviving on a, on a mountain 
It's a. Uh, it's hard to catch your breath. Oh shit! Don't wander into this that. Elevation. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Imagination of the kids. <laughs> These are hilarious. These are great for shorts, bro. Put them down. No. Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long, and I feel so badly for him. Little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is. You know. Huh. Mm-hmm. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of an animal costume. <laughs> Don't you see that he's in pain? He's my pet. And it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And uh, what is he suffering what? from exactly? Well... This Karen looking ugly face, nasty put ma makeup having ass bitch is trying to kill this th the person. Boy, what is wrong with you? Look at him. This look like Velma. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt. What? 24 year old adult human male, and I can't euthanize a 24 year old adult human male. Oh, wow. Actually, it's Fire Dash. Right. <laughs> I'm a pyrofox. From the forest planet? I no, you dead. you don't understand. <laughs> In the kingdom Fire of Fire Dash is sick. He's been He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Okay. Miss Livingston, this has been and continues to be a complete waste of my time and resources. <laughs> On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's basic human rights. It's Fire Dash? My name is Fire Dash? Oh, you just don't want to live with a more. son who, as an it's adult, wants to live his life, life as a magical human <laughs> dog. <laughs> what? Would you? Uh... I'm a pyro. Not to mention the response. Bro, sit your ass up. He is trying to save your life, boy. Responsibilities you have as a mother. His Damn. mother. Come on. Please? No. Isn't there somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. Yeah, at an anime convention. Don't leave him there. Are you going to let her treat you like this? Or are you going to stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't want to die, Mom? I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human male. Oh, God. I'm a trigender pyro fox. What? Get out. Please. Get out. Please. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out of my office. Oh, fine. What kind of weird shit is this? Quiet, Puppet. Soon you'll finally be free. Weird ass bitch! <laughs> That's the end of it? Oh my god. 
I don't even want to see the dentist. I got to go to the dentist in a minute. Dr. Murphy is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Hello there, Joel! Oh, Haven't shit. seen you for a while! <laughs> I don't know if I want a dentist that uppity. Like, hey, Quizzy, how you been, man? How's the kids? What's going on? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go down the street to the hardware shop. I'll pull it out my fucking self. No, hell no. Oh, you weren't afraid to come back now, were you? Nah, JK, JK. We like to have fun here. Oh, no. All right, Joel. Let's see what's going on with those choppers in. He will touch you if you let him. He will touch you. There, open up. Nah, I won't bite, and I hope you don't either. <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah. Oh, wow. You're a little spitty, aren't you? Are you nervous? Yeah, this will help. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. <laughs> that little suction thing is weird as fuck, bro. Hey, y'all, I know y'all at this point have had that in your mouth one time and shit. And this was like, you be thinking to yourself, like, God, damn, this is getting all this shit in here, ain't it? <laughs> and they be around this shit i'd be like if y'all don't get over with this shit boy i don't have shit to do food to eat teeth to ruin i'm not gonna ruin my teeth i really do need to get my shit together bro for real for real i got like two cavities and shit a real diploma doctor no name given that boy in the mouth. It's gonna be him. I swear it's gonna be him. I, I I know it is. I know it is. Ah, you nasty mother. Oh, I knew it's gonna be somebody weird, bro. I don't know if I'm ready for this one. Jeez. Oh yeah, happy Mother's Day to you, you fucking Luann looking motherfucker. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. And why they in a crack house? Oh. Excuse me, I didn't say that. Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But Bob. Damn, damn. You ain't even finished the last one. She's too smart for me. <laughs> wow, bro. Wow. Mother's Day cakes aren't a thing, kiddo. That's fucked up, bro. And see, here I was thinking that... Here I was thinking that... She's the asshole. They're both assholes. This was a really good compilation. He's a good boy. You are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. You're such a good boy. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm going to go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? I feel like yeah, the dog is going to talk to him. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like the dog going to talk to him. What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? <laughs> Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. What? Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beasty big man. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Damn. it. Do you want to take this outside? I said, let's take this outside. That dog right, finna, let's, that dog finna beat his ass. Yeah, let's take this outside. Oh, oh shit, he, he murdered him. Oh, what the fuck, nasty bitch. <laughs> I ain't seen 
knew she she likes to have two of them. I can't say certain things on YouTube, my boy. Y'all just gonna have to deal with that, man. But she likes to have two men or a dog and a man. A man in a dog suit. Did he murder him?